What's up everybody, Hev the Eagle here again. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install all the mods for on AT Launcher because the curse version currently does not launch. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to come to these two links or these two web pages, which I will have linked in the description. You're going to need AT Launcher and all the mods for from CurseForge. Start by installing whichever operating system you have. I have Windows. We're going to save that. All right, we're done with this page once it's done downloading. Now we will come back to this later. You're going to want to go to your downloads, which I'm sorry for how messy my downloads are. And we're going to want to create a folder strictly for this application. Call it AT Launcher. Okay, I forgot I already have that. AT Launcher 2. Now, once you drag the application in, launch. It is going to create all of the folders that you need and install everything else. Set it up in your language, which is English for me, obviously. And here we go. We have the launcher installed. Now you're going to want to go to instances. Click add a curse pack. Now this is whenever you're going to need this link right here. Just copy it. Paste it into the CurseForge URL section. Click add. You can rename it, you can tell it which version to install. Currently, this is the only one available. So, install 0.2.4, which should say 1.14.4, which is the Minecraft version that it's on. Click install. It's going to do everything for you. It's going to download all of the forge, all of the mods, the configs, everything you need. We'll be back once this is done. All right, the mod pack is done downloading. So all we have to do is click OK. And then if you clicked out to packs, these are all the packs that the AT Launcher already has loaded. You can add a pack, add a curse pack, or you can clear all of these off or any filters that you have. Sorry. Now head back over to instances, which normally you'll still be on. Click Add Mods and add or Excavation. Now it's this first one right here, or Excavation, a lightweight vein miner alternative. Click Add, add version 1.6.4.145.jar. There's multiple versions. This is the one that you're going to want. And if you're following this tutorial and not part of the Soulbound server, then you can totally skip this. You can add it if you want. I honestly feel as if a mod pack needs to have some kind of vein mining alternative or vein miner itself. And at this current point in time, vein miner is not updated, but or excavation is. So now that you're done with mods, you can go ahead and click out of that. And another quick thing about the AT launcher is it has this console which is very nice for figuring out what's wrong with mod packs. If you've ever dealt with mod packs in the past, you'll know that sometimes they do not load properly. This is going to show you exactly what's wrong with it. So now we're going to go ahead and launch. Oh, that's, that's good. We don't have an account set up on this one. So head on over to accounts, type in your Minecraft login now I understand that it might be a little bit sketchy to log into something that's not Minecraft but these guys have it very well encrypted it's just like curse you have to do the exact same thing for the curse launcher these guys are just as well encrypted so we're gonna click add account successfully added switch to it now yes or no Yes, we'll automatically put you into the account. If you click no, you're going to have to go down here to select an account. Click the down arrow and then select the account that you want to play on. 
obviously I'm going to be playing on Hefty Eagle. So we're going to pop over back to Instances and click Play. And we will be right back once this is done. All right, so it dinged whenever it was ready. And here we are. We have Minecraft 1.14.4, and it is all the mods. It will normally have 106 mods, but we added Ore Excavation, so ours is going to be 107. Pop in single player, create new world. You can do whatever you want. I like to have mine set to biomes of plenty. Go ahead and give us a bonus chest. I'm going to allow cheats just for the demonstration. You can also add whatever seed you like. And if you're playing on a server, just enter the IP address like you would to any other Minecraft server and you can join. Now, this, this right here got me a little bit tripped up the first time I saw it because I noticed it's at zero. It's not even attempting to load. It just takes a little bit of time because of 1.14 Forge is still not perfected yet. They're working on it and it's getting better all the time. But on my computer, I know that I have a little bit of an issue with the beginning and the end there. It'll stay at 100% for a few seconds longer than a normal world will. It'll say it's not responding, which is normal. And there we go. We're loading into all the mods. As you can see, all of the textures of 1.14 are here, which they changed the textures. And I'm going to hop into creative mode real quick and do a quick little fly around. And I'm going to change one thing. Oh, the wrong thing. Controls. I always set this to a mouse button. And now I can fly around a little bit faster. So we got a pretty normal spawn here, except for the world generation. It is biomes of plenty generation instead of normal Minecraft. While you can find stuff like this in Minecraft, it's exceedingly rare to find it right off spawn. If we come down here, we'll see a beetle from Druidcraft. They drop chitin, which can be created into armor that, as far as I can tell, is pretty nice. Ah, we get to see our first change in the world right over here. What is this? This is a Druidcraft Darkwood Forest. This is a special kind of wood. Darkwood from Druidcraft. Okay. Oh, and here's a Biomes of Plenty biome. It is a bog. I believe this is mud down here. Yeah, it's mud. You can find all these sweet berry bushes, which is uh, something added in 1.14 Minecraft. The box are relatively large, but I hope this is like able to teach you how to get the mod pack up and running. I've had so many issues on Curse recently with 1.14 packs, and it seems like they can all be added through AT Launcher and work just fine. So if there's a mod pack on 1.14 that you want to play, but you can't get it to work on Twitch, just go ahead and try it over on AT Launcher using the same steps provided. And one last thing before I go, I want to teach you guys how to change RAM allocation. So on the base, AT Launcher immediately sets every profile to 1 gig. If you go into settings here, you can change this. Um, RAM works in increments of 1024. If I could bring this over here really quickly. So say you want to add 4 gigs. You just do 1024 times 4. 4096. For this pack, I would actually recommend that you change that to 6 gigs. 
So it'd be 6144. You just highlight it 6144. And that is six gigs of RAM allocated. But if you only have eight in your computer, go ahead and use four. I've played it on four, I just demonstrated it on four and it runs just fine. And you'll get a little pop up over here saying the instance has been saved or the mod has been added, etc. Well, I hope you guys learned something today and you have a wonderful day.